RhinoCam also offers five axis tool pad methods. We offer both indexed and simultaneous five axis. So first I'm going to give you a quick overview of the index methods. The index method is also known as positional five axis where you basically lock the tool axis or orientation to a specific plane and then you can program two or three axis operations. So this would be similar to index four axis where in the case of index four axis you're locking the rot rotational axis to just along to a plane along the rotational axis. Here you'd be able to orient the coordinate system to any plane. You can specify the plane in Rhino or you can use you know orient it along basically by selecting a planar surface, a planar curve or you can specify the orientation spin angle and use a combination of X, Y or Z axis to orient the coordinate system. So you can define your orientation. So in this particular case I would like to mill all the features on the top so we have the Z axis being normal to the surface and then for the additional setups I have the Z axis oriented normal to the surface on looking from the front plane and normal to the surface looking on the right plane. And you can program machining operations from each of these orientations in here. So we have facing, roughing, drilling operations, and we have facing and pocketing operations for the front, and also for the right you know, features on the right plane of the part. Now once you have all of these operations programmed, you can simulate all of them in here. So I'm going to basically select these operations, and I can hit the play button in here, and you'll see that it shows the simulation of each of these operations from the different orientations. And if you have the machine tool defined as 5-axis and you define a machine configuration, RhinoCam supports three different types of machine configurations. We have a head-head, table-head, and a table-table configuration for 5-axis programming. You can then define your primary rotational axis and the secondary rotational axis. And post-processing these toolpaths will automatically output the rotation angles for each of these orientations. And you can also estimate the machining time for each of these operations. So the machining time sub subtotals are defined based on each of these setups. So this basically gives you an overview of the index 5-axis methods. Next we'll take a look at a simultaneous 5-axis example. So the simultaneous 5-axis methods um, can be used for programming solid surface geometries in RhinoCAN. And you can access these simultaneous methods by selecting the 5-axis group under the machining methods and we have different types of 5-axis methods. Now the part that we have on the screen here shows a negative draft on the inside. So to be able to program this negative draft, uh, we could program this using a simultaneous 5-axis operation. Here. So the typical workflow is you define the machine, define your post-processor, establish the orientation, create your stock material, and then we would typically start out the roughing process. So what I have here is a 3-axis roughing operation, very similar to what we did on the 3D uh, example we talked about earlier today and there is your three axis roughing toolpath and the next step is I would like to finish the negative draft we have on the interior of this part so I'm going to use a method called 5 axis and a swarf machining and I already have it programmed on this part in here and I'm going to select the operation and hit the play button and you can see that the simulation is in progress and you can look at the orientation of the tool axis so this method is called swarf machining which basically uses the side of the cutter and there's your swarf machining operation. You could always do the pause and then pick simulate to end to run through the simulation. I also have another method called between curve machining program to clean up the fillet on the top edge of this part and there is the five axis between two curve machining. So the tool path morphed between the two curves and the tool is being normal to the surface being machined. So these are the different types of simultaneous five axis methods that are offered in RhinoCAM.